everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So, after the last episode, we had upgraded our, if we go to quickly to engineering, we upgraded our uh, drop capability by one mech. So, that's pretty good. This, I think, will give us another one. 500 some odd thousand. This will give us another one, I think. Command an additional mech warrior directly. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so we should have enough um, to drop an additional mech here. So we're going to go right into a battle today. Now, we got everything up and running. Uh, mechs are good to go. We're going to take Man of the People. It's a uh, escort mission. This might last for the entire uh, episode, but we'll see how it goes. And we're going to go full salvage on this one, uh, working with Clan Wolf here. 100,000, that should be enough to cover our drop cost, I think. Yeah, so we've got an extra uh, position here. So I'm going to move um, Hellion down here because she was going to be the commander of our next land. So let's move Dallas up to second spot. Uh, Goofy can stay where he is. We're going to bring in Gundal here uh, with the risk. Actually, you know what? I wonder if we should bring in... Um, nah, maybe not. I was thinking about maybe bringing in Duck, but he doesn't quite have the ability to uh, do sensor lock yet, so it's not really worth it. So let's go this route, I think. Let's deploy and get this sucker done. Ah, right, let's do this. Two lances. Wow, two dropships too. That's cool. Okay. Going from there to where? Okay, local government battle, battle next. Where? So we got to move up, get them from here, and take them where? Where is the? Where is the landing pad? I don't think I've done an escort on this map before. Maybe there? Well, we'll have to figure out when we get there. Mortar technical. Wait, do they have control over my mech? They do. Uh, so I guess she's going to get experience for this, but I can't control her? That seems weird. Um, okay. Full that is so very strange. Somebody's got an AMS. Yeah, it's our mech, all right. Awaiting orders. Confirm. Okay. Yeah, this may take, uh, the entire episode if it's going to run this slow. wonder if it has something to do with dropping the extra mech. Right here. Like I said, I'm just learning as I go here, so I don't really know the whole deal. No shoot. Got it. 
whole lot of running and no shooting. I'm receiving you. Here you asteroid up and get over here. Drop some missiles on this guy if you can. Not at this though. Let's not waste them. We got lots of LRMs, but you know, I'm not going to waste it on a 0.9% uh, mortar tactical. Sorry, mortar technical. Pack rat support vehicle. Yeah, I wonder where they're going. They gotta be following the road. Ow. Warning. Armor low. Who shot that? Heavy fire? Not much armor left in that location. This guy? Sarbomba? Yeah, probably. Good thing I grouped up for that shot, eh guys? <sighs> Local government support lance. Any enemies between you and the rally point? Okay. Yeah, we're all enjoying that. Light damage. Holding firm. We're all enjoying that. So they got two lances here? Okay, that's going to be interesting. Whitworth. We got to get this guy, though. Not being able to control that extra mech is like really hurting us. Okay, nice. Full throttle. Kill what we can. No damage detected. Uh-huh. Okay, we got to spread up here, or spread out that is. Um, Roger. Huh. Well, we got better chances than the Whitworth. Roger that. Somebody's got an AMS working overtime down there. Get on this pack rat. Jeez, terrible chance to do it. Oh yeah, we forgot to add in the uh Whoops, did not mean to do that. Warning. Armor low. Did not mean to do that. Receiving. Well, he's dead. He's dead, all right. All right, let's hammer this guy, I guess. Beautiful. So 
So 33%. So maybe they've only got six guys here. Who was this guy again? Stiletto. All right, at least he ain't shooting me. Wow, two damage misfires. See, that's why I don't like taking the uh, like pirate stuff or experimental stuff. It's they look nice on paper and they're kind of cool to, to goof around with. Oh, that was a helicopter. But the the issue then becomes if it misfires during the battle, or it gets destroyed during the battle, or you know just whatever, it's you're down weapons, right? And I'd rather be be sure that, you know, malfunctions aren't going to, like, wipe me out. Oh, my God. At least he ain't shooting me. Enjoy those rocket launchers, buddy. At least my support crew are moving up this time. That guy's got the AMS, I would imagine. There's a chopper back here. Making a break for it, looks like. Come on, what is it? Come on. Decide what you're doing, guys. What is that chopper? My Hollander's just hanging out back there. Warrior, okay. That doesn't mean anything to me because I have no idea what the loadout is. Okay, as long as the motor technical is not shooting me, we're going to target this Clint and firing. Oof. It's panicking! It's like we got a good we got a GTFO man. Now I don't know how much this thing weighs, but it's probably oh it's 35 tons. Okay. Okay. Yes, Commander. See if we can finish this guy up. Firing. Nope. Well, we can act like we know what we're doing. Back up over here, get our stability back. Yeah, so I guess we have to buy that we're able to control one extra pilot. I'm going to get right next to you. Full throttle. Because I'll be damned if I'm letting you shoot. It's got an arrow 4 on it. All damn it, I'm letting you shoot at me. No damage detected. Okay, as long as we keep shooting it from this side, we should get the arrow 4. Because I think the arrow 4 is here. Beautiful. Warning. Detecting she got me in the head with a tag. <laughs> okay, you made your point. Dead fires are both destroyed. Or the, the uh, LRMs. Oh, he's got one LRM. Okay, Dallas, this putz is all yours. Uh, how much has he got left in the center? I have no idea. Let's just straight up attack him then. Beautiful. Let's 
stay away from everybody else. Move over here. Okay, they got, uh, what, five guys left? I may have to cut it. I mean, I hope we don't get a second lance in the middle section where we're driving. That way I can cut out all of the driving until the point we get to where the uh, next lance is coming from because this is moving pretty slow here still. All right, none of the missiles landed near me, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Warrior, come back and play. Warrior, come back and play. No, don't retreat. Reporting. Let's keep this arrow tied up. Give us back half some loving and hope we don't miss. Beautiful. Wow. Tango down. Destroy the right torso. I did not think that was going to happen. Well, at least we don't have to worry about him now. Okay. Turd B's next. Don't come near me! Good to go. I don't think I want to be, not be in trees with that urban mech. Although a back shot would be really nice. Let's take it. Critical hit, Commander. Waiting for orders. Now. Yeah, we go after the technical. Target locked. Beautiful. Starting to shred them now. Nice. I still can't get over that guy shooting me in the head. Don't really care about the parts on this guy. You know, the other thing I could do with the pulses is maybe put one on the Jenner. Take out the SRM-4. Or the Streak-4. I might be able to get two in, even. Order. All right. Let's do things this way. Finish him off. Some heavy He's not having a good time.
My oh, guys, finish him up. I have no idea where the stiletto and the warrior are going. Yes, Commander. Confirmed. Gonna multi target this out. Come on. You can do it, B. Why won't you let me target the second person? Uh, I don't understand this. Target? I can single target him, but I can't multi-target him? That is so weird. Gonna leave these off. Go for the CT on this guy. Well, Goofy still got a chance. Wonder if we should just activate those vehicles. I don't know if Goofy can get in there to get it get it done, but we'll see if he can. Yeah, I have no idea where those guys are going. Yes, no, can't quite get there, but that's fine. That's fine. We might be able to finish this guy up. I think we can. See ya. Let's get these guys activated. Get them activated, see what they do. We're in good positions here, I think. We got some speed, so I'm not worried about that. Plus the road is, the road, the road is windy. The road is winding, so we should easily be able to go over hills and stuff and catch up to the, uh, the vehicles if they try and get too far ahead. I don't think they're going to go far ahead anyway, so. They gotta follow us, so they can, it's not gonna, they're not gonna get that far ahead. Secure the area. Making their way to the extraction point now, keep them alive. Where's my extraction point? Oh, it's right here. Okay. That's kind of a weird... Whatever, it's open field, so good to go. Oh, they got more guys coming in. Okay, I see how that works now. I'm glad we don't have to go very far. Yeah, screw you, buddy. If you want to park way the fuck over there, how am I supposed to get to you? Skimeter. I'm going to jump over to you and then I'm going to kill their chopper. Wait, why does this say wolf? That's just a phantom, I guess. Oh, it's this guy's marker, that's why. It's a phantom marker. Ooh. Come on. Centurion, nice. We got Centurion parts, guys. So this this uh, actually this season is actually advancing way faster than my uh, previous ones. Awaiting orders. 
All right, Goofy, let's get you... Uh, Let's get you up by the vehicles here. I understand. Got some ECM going on. At least they're keeping my Hollander safe. That's all I'm gonna say. Yes, come in. Bustin' ah. I guess I'm gonna have to jump over to where that vehicle is. I don't know how he's gonna join everybody else. So they got a Centurion, two vehicles. I don't know how many, they got this guy. Stiletto. The chopper's here somewhere. And they probably got one other guy somewhere. I don't know where though. They got two. No, that's just a Phantom. It's a computer calculation phantom. That's this guy's AMS. That should be close enough. Yeah, let's just get over here. Acknowledge. Let's shoot the Centurion. Well, maybe not. It's all going to be the same, I think. Oh, 10% against the Warrior. We'll take that. Sure. I have no idea if we hit, but whatever. Should have hit with at least three. my Hollander safe yeah so I think we're gonna sell some of the cores that we have uh, we don't need to keep all the cores that we have we're gonna sell a bunch of them and whatever scrap that we've got to try and get enough to get control over that extra lance mate I think it was like 500,000 or something we needed let's just reserve I think that vehicle should be able to move now Yeah, Stiletto is like AMS and the crap out of everything. Reporting. Uh, let's reserve. We need these vehicles to move. Okay, finally. Good job, buddy. Ready for order. Let's get up over here. That allows you chances to hit, but we're going to take them. Their AMS should be running out of ammo soon. Beautiful. Keep going, guys. We'll stay right ahead of you. All you got to do is keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Don't even bother shooting, just go. Oh shoot, this guy may not be going anywhere. What turn is he going on? 17? Yep, almost makes me wish I took that Marauder mission now. As unfair and unbalanced as that would be, I don't know. Yes, Commander. We 
We got, let's gang up on this Centurion. We got some support on our side, so we might as well go for it. Oh, this is a back shot, though. Really lousy chances to hit. Not that much better on this guy, though. No, I really think it's the uh, Centurion. Probably the most dangerous. Oh, head hit. Nice. So Goofy goes on 11. We're going to have to send him back to pick up the other guy. The vehicle that's decided he doesn't want to move. Either that or I, I'll just... I don't know. I guess I can move the... Uh, the Jenner back. Our additional Lance mates have moved up already, so... Do that. Hopefully that guy will move. Yes, Commander. Let's keep you with them. Dot ECM up there. So they got, I think they've got an extra guy back there. Well, I hope they do. We're getting 517 out of this, so hopefully we get some good Centurion parts. Be nice to be able to construct a Centurion. Yeah, I don't know what's going on now with the calculations and thinking. The past few episodes have been just fine, and this one is just like, oh, it's a Centurion just bracing himself. Hollander. Come on, man. Commander. Commander. Let's move up here. I'm there. Let's give this guy the what for. Where'd the warrior go? No idea where it went to. All right, it's fire on this guy. Six from ten hit by MS. Okay, cool. We can probably kill this guy this turn. I really hope this guy moves. Yeah, keep hammering him. Oh, what's this? There's another mech back there. Commando, pirate, meh. Oh wait, is this the one that's got the uh the vibro shiv? I really hope not. Come on. See, this guy was supposed to go on 17 last turn. I'm pretty sure, and he never went. This guy goes next. No, infiltrate. Well, infiltrator goes on 18, so we'll have to sit there, I guess. Uh oh. What are you up to? Oh, it's the thorn. Okay. Minus one initiative, eh? Do what you can, boys. I 
makes me wonder if there's going to be another Lance after we get in here. There usually is, so I should be very careful about how far I let these guys go forward until we can get the control in the situation here. This guy's not going to move. We're in a big trouble. Then I'll just have to leave him there and I don't know. Maybe we use our uh Yeah, you got a reserve. Let's just go right beside him actually. Like that. Let's see if we can get him moving forward. If he doesn't want to move, then um I don't know. Maybe we use our tag uh artillery strike and target the hex next to him maybe destroy him I mean we'll lose our uh, full escort but at least we can finish the mission either that or we just you know call a mission off after we've killed everybody I don't know that's it that guy's not gonna move and then at least we'll get a good faith because we'll have killed everybody So far the, the uh, missions I like the best are the battle missions. They go relatively quickly, you know, good good uh, competition. Okay, that guy's moving. Oh, okay, good, that guy's moving. Beautiful. Uh, let's get you to here. I know he's not in range to fight, but at least he's got access to this guy now. By. Move order received. Let's get away from those guys in case somebody's got a uh, long range weapon. Let's shoot this guy in the back. Guard a critical hit. Beautiful. Almost got this guy. Striker still moving away, huh? Not doing anything back there, buddy. Got to move it forward. Huh? Miss me, but hit this guy. Okay. Hopefully we can punch through that guy's armor. At least our support lands. I'm shocked. Actually, they're actually moving up with the exception of our Hollander back here. But this support lands is moving up, which is nice. Yeah, you tried. At least you're burning through all that guy's AMS stuff. Let's hopefully finish this guy up. Beautiful. Okay, I think we need to move um, Goofy up. Uh, since this vehicle is moving, we're going to get um, our Jenner into here. So we can get both these guys going along the road. And we'll move up. Um, I'm here. Yeah. So many mechs with their backs and stuff turned to us. So many enemies, that is. Primitive engine. Okay, 
let's get to here so we can support both those vehicles yeah I was hoping to get more salvage from that centurion but I'm just worried that these vehicles are going to go out and we're still going to be fighting guys here and these ones are so far behind that these guys will just be sitting there in the, in the circle looking to get killed I mean they're really down to what three four four because the uh Yeah, the, what's it called? Let's get rid of this commando. The um, warriors disappeared. I don't know where the hell he went. Baraji! Wow, the barrage ship back there. Ooh. That's really interesting. interesting how that works so wherever it, it ends up hit like targeting and hitting the uh, commander decided to run away they got artillery get the hell out of here this guy's really pushing man these two C's though they got like an ER large and stuff on our ER medium and a couple of ATMs eh? that can be scary for a locust for 20 tons They got the range and the speed to do a lot of damage. Then there's the locust with the ER large on them. In this, I think it's ER larges and some ER smalls. They're, or they or they pack like what eight eight or ten ER smalls. Scary as shit. They're getting close to your back and you can screw you up real quick. Oh, sorry guys, I'm starting to yawn here. This is my fifth episode of recording today. Is this guy not moving? Oh, at least he's got, he finally got his uh, thing with him now. His ID. Yeah, I recorded five episodes today, so you guys will have an episode every day next week. Hoping to have all five out Monday to Friday next week. Well, this will be Friday's episode. <laughs> By the time you see it, you'll have seen all the other episodes that I recorded, so it's kind of mute saying that now, but that's kind of how it's going to go, I think. It's getting difficult to record an episode a night, so I'm trying to batch record as much as I can, just to give you guys stuff to watch. Plus, I really enjoy playing, right? So it's like... Problem is, is I, like, like I said before, is I'm so tired that most of the nights, I just don't even want to talk. And I thought about releasing content where I'm not not talking at all. I'm just like, it's just a video. But I've tried watching videos like that myself personally, and it's, I don't know, it's tough. You get no sense of personality. You don't, you know, you don't have a clue of why decisions are being made or what they're doing. You're just kind of watching and going, eh, okay. All right, you decided to do that. And you know what? If it's if you're watching a really good player, someone who really knows what they're doing in the game. Then it can be really interesting, right? It's like, oh, I never thought of that, or I never thought of this. But if it's just standard gameplay, like, you know. Anyway, that's just my two cents. Because I certainly played enough during the week that uh, I could easily put together a series that is just not talking at all. All right. They're all running. Look at this. Um... Now the question is, oof. Well, there's our target. All right. Good to go. Aye, aye. All right, let's see if we can get rid of this guy. Ah, eh, not really. Eh, not really. 
this guy's like still there okay finally please get moving yes, there's always one jerk that doesn't want to go anywhere Oh, we might get lucky. Ah, one hit. Penned. Can't tell where that is. One of the torsos, most likely. Yeah, come on. There we go. Here you go. Yeah. get here that should get him around the corner I think I could have left my LRM boat back there but she was in a different position so it's not like she could actually go back there well they're getting close next turn they'll be out we still got four guys left on the board Really, we should be pulling this guy down. AMS is doing a, doing a number on all the missiles here. Although he might be out of ammo. I haven't seen him firing in the past couple times, so he might be out of ammo. Burned through enough of it at the beginning there. Yeah, those guys are going to be sitting there for about five turns. And chances are the enemy's going to be coming from up here. Top of the map, most likely. I'm glad our escort uh, mechs came with us, most of them anyway. That commando not move? Is that my imagination? Man, they're like in full retreat now. Oh yeah, now you move up. Well, I'm hoping she gets experience for this battle. Be nice to get like 600 experience for like basically standing around doing nothing. Reporting. Actually, I think the argument would be no, I wasn't standing around doing nothing. I was just monitoring the battle. Wow. Terrible. Oh, much better. Take that. He's going down. Beautiful. Target neutralized. You got that right. I think we're a little bit ahead of this guy. I think we should be okay though. I think he's probably close enough. Actually, not really. This guy's going on 15. This guy's going on 15. So I guess we got to, this guy's gonna, we're just gonna reserve with the Jenner. Hopefully they'll move up. I think the vehicle will move up. I wonder if these mechs count as, there, he's got AMS ammo still. I wonder if they count as um, escorts. That's an interesting thing. I'm hoping they do. All right, here we go. Beautiful, wonderful. Of course, they're bound from my position. Good work, Commander. Hold this position until the package is underway. I'm waiting. All right, we need to like take care of some business here fast. What do we got here? Chameleon, 50 tons, and something or other. There's the choppa, and another choppa. Ooh. You got 
Okay, some of them passed through. Nice. Okay, one hit. Beautiful. Let's bring them down before these guys get into the battle. Ah, man, my uh, my Jenner is woefully out of position. I may have to bring it forward to kill these guys and then escort the vehicle out. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to reserve, see how far those trucks get or that, that mobile headquarters at the back. And then if I have to leave it behind for now till these guys drop, then I'm, I'll do that and then I'll just you know, off camera, move them out, out of the, uh, move them out of the circle. All right, Dallas. Oh, they can actually see you from there, eh? That's a little better. I really hope I just didn't park myself in the uh, drop zone. I have a sneaky suspicion I did. I wasn't paying attention. Or the, the zone where the uh, ship comes down, that would be very bad. Okay, he's moving, that's good. Oh boy, I'm hoping I'm not in the uh, zone here. I'm hoping it's like right here. I wasn't paying attention. Probably stay off the road. Just get over here. I think we're okay for one more turn. Yeah, we're okay. Oh, did it land on him? It did. Oh my god. That's the first time I've ever seen that. The only thing I can say is I waste, wasted all my ammo shooting at that guy and he just got squashed by a dropship. Wow. That I... I know I never would have thought that would have happened. Let's get up here. See if we can finish this guy up. I think we can. Yeah. What? No? Reporting. Critical hit. He had no armor on his backside. Now he's got no armor on the side. <laughs> sure, whatever. Glad you're targeting the important spots. For okay, I'm going to move Dallas back to here. And we're gonna just going to drop lerms on this guy. Beautiful. Vehicle down. Commander. You got it. Let's get some targeting on this guy. Tab the target. Wow, terrible. What would take it? Nightshade, okay. Deadly nightshade with some rockets. Bustin' ah. Okay, three out. Four out. Just this jerk back here. Gonna take three more turns or four more turns to get out of the friggin' map here. Well, Warrior's coming out to play again. 
just gonna move up here for now keep that guy moving at least we can keep our eyes open if they come through here we can take some shots at them while we're waiting for jerky jerk here to move out of the the uh, map so I don't know if they've got the warrior is part of the local government lands that's this guy this guy's the nightshade and we got two guys here a fitty tunner and I have no idea what else I'm hoping they just push straight in I'd like them to come through this gap here come on I think somebody mentioned I wish they and I, I was thinking the same thing one of the vehicles should have the politician in it and that's the one that should, you should always have to keep safe and if it gets destroyed you automatically lose but the enemy doesn't know which one it is you know which one it is but the enemy doesn't know so the AI will just fire randomly at the vehicles so if they start targeting one where the guys in it you know that you really got to target those those uh, mechs to keep it off that vehicle and in that you know in that in that case too it could be like you know the commander is like taking off so, so it, it might be that it's the vehicle that's lagging behind or it might be that it's the vehicle that's taking off up front. It's just a random vehicle that he's in, right? So you never know whether he's going to be lagging behind or taking off in front until uh, the beginning of the match. Like it could be this guy back here, right? In which case you may want to leave him back there, right? And then go fight all the mechs and then let him get out. Or if it's one of the guys up front who gets to the drop first, got to wait for all the laggers to get up there with him. You know, then you got to keep them protected inside here. I think that would add a little bit more challenge to the escort. I know it's probably way way harder to code, but that would kind of be interesting. But like I said, it wouldn't affect the AI because the AI would just be firing at random vehicles, right? It's whichever one's e easier to target. And then at the beginning of the round, or the beginning of the the uh, the mission, the computer would just randomly generate which vehicle he's in, and then that would just be a condition to keep the politician alive. If that vehicle, particular vehicle, gets destroyed, then you automatically lose. And then you get, you know, if, if he gets out, then you then you've automatically you automatically succeed. And if you ensure all the like the normal conditions, like all the convoy members survive, you get a bonus. So as long as he gets out, it's a success, you know. Okay, the government support lance one is just the warrior left, so we're gonna get that for the bonus. Hope we haven't crashed here. I think it's just those VTOLs trying to figure stuff out. It'd be really lousy if we did crash. Because I wouldn't be playing this match again, that would just be the end of it. But I think we did well overall. Yeah, it's just f t stuff figuring figuring stuff out. And that's fine. So I think I'll stay away from escort missions from now on. They're still really slow, and that's fine. You know, yes, Commander. definitely they're they're definitely working on the AI, and it's getting better and better every every uh, version. So can't really complain. I mean, I could, but then I'd be a total dick, right? And I'm not a total dick. I'm just a partial dick. You know what I'm saying? It's far on this guy. I don't know if he's off the map board, but he's not moving. Okay. Laser hit. Couple missile hits. Beautiful. I think it's our allies trying to figure out what to do here. Yeah. Yes, Commander. Where was that uh, line of sight? G 
Geez, we could drop an artillery barrage on these guys. I had line of sight to the guy up in the hill. Did I not? Or was I just mistaken? Oh, wait. What? Oh, it's back here. Yeah, you know, I'm going to reserve. I want to use my artillery strike. Yeah, you hide behind that hill back there. They're not pushing at all. That's fine. They almost, almost every one of their units has spent their time cowering or running away. And I don't blame them. I mean, if you look at what we got here, it's not really much chance they're going to survive, so. Okay, vehicular type is going on 16. What do we got left? Some 21s. I think they've already gone. These vehicles... I wonder if it's the choppers going next. You know, I should really be preparing like stories to talk about while we're waiting for Mex to move. I'm here. I really don't really, I don't know. I don't have a lot of stories to tell. I mean, I do, but they're work stories and it's like, I can't tell works, like a lot of them I can't tell because it's like client confidentiality. I mean, I can tell general things, but it's like I can't talk about any about my any of my clients and stuff. And I can talk about ridiculous ridiculous requests, like you know they supply me files, and then I supply them the video back with the files in them, and then the clients are like, "Yeah, those files are wrong. You need to change them." And it's like, "Why are you giving me wrong files?" I I don't I know <laughs> I don't know. And then I'm like, you guys need to change them because you supplied them to me. And every time I get an email, it's like they make it sound like it's my fault somehow for them not being correct. And I'm like, no, you sent them to me like this. <laughs> if it's wrong, it's your fault, not mine. Anyway. Uh, I don't care. Just fix it. Okay, I'll fix it. If you want me to fix it, you're paying me either way. I'll fix it. It's fine. Just don't try and drop this on my lap like it's my fault somehow. I'll I'll tell you what I'm the I'm the first person that will say to a client, you know what? I apologize. That's my fault. I have no problem telling people it's my fault. People make mistakes all the time, right? You know, everyone. I I don't think there's a person on the, on this earth that hasn't made a mistake in some form or another. You know, some have made it at work, some at home. Some at both, right? I, you can't get away from life without making a mistake, right? As you know, watch my games here, guys. You know how many mistakes I've made, right? But, uh, you know, the thing is, is you own up to it, you admit to it, and you fix it. There's nothing, you know, nothing wrong with making a damn mistake. Okay, we got a shot in that guy anyway. Took a bit of damage. You know, but don't, you know, you don't give somebody something and then tell them it's wrong and then they've got to fix it. Ooh, beautiful. Um, like, you know what I mean? If it's your fault, just say, oh, shoot, you know what? We made a mistake. We gave you the wrong thing. I'm receiving you. We'll make sure you get the right one. Here you go. Here you go. Busta now. You think we'll go before this guy? I think we will. All right. Confirm. Look at those numbers. Red numbers. That's what I want to see. Or orange. They're orange numbers. Uh, what was that? Okay. Reporting. There's somebody else down here. It will be done. I have no idea where he's gone, but he's down here somewhere. I understand. Beautiful. Strip the st armor off this guy. Receiving. I'll put the pedal down. 
All right, here it comes. Yes, shredded. Okay, we got the torso beautiful. I have no idea what else he's got on him. Oh, well, most of the energies are gone. Ballistic damaged. Beautiful. There's the deadly nightshade. Man, I remember the first house I bought. We had nightshade in the backyard. Didn't realize it until the summertime when we just had our first, uh, we had our first uh, child. And uh, we were planning on going out in the backyard and my wife was like, you know, she's like awesome. She's like super well read and very intelligent and always investigating stuff and learning things. She's probably the only reason why her kids are still alive. But anyway, uh, she was the one that, that figured out it was deadly nightshade in the backyard. It's like, you gotta get rid of that before we can let our kid out the back. I'm like, oh, okay. Come on, fire away. We'll take what you got. You got a couple of rocket launchers, I think. Use them or use them or lose them. Yeah, it's surprising how many work stories I have. I can't tell people. It's funny. Like one of the guys I used to work with used to say, "I don't even know how these corporate people still have their jobs." Some of them are just so... Now, this is not everybody, okay? Because I've met a lot of people that are just, like, right on it. Like, you know what I mean? They're just so efficient at what they do. And then you meet... Sometimes you meet desk jockey, jockeys that are like, how do you still have a job? You know what I mean? They're just not necessarily incompetent, but just so... I don't know. Like, I don't know how to explain... Like, they're not incompetent. They're just so out of it. You know, a lot of the time, and you're like, how are you still working for a company like this? Standing by. Ah, finally, keep going. You know, it's funny, because I've, I've met really, really great people. Oh, it's a ferret. Okay. I met really, really great people in this job. And I've met... This It's very rare that I meet a total asshole. Not to say that I haven't met total assholes. Um, and for me, a total asshole isn't necessarily someone who is being an asshole to you or is asshole-ish. A total asshole is somebody who's like an ass to the person, people that work for them. Not necessarily the companies they hire because you can... You know, people g can generally be um, disassociated from people that they hire. I'm talking about somebody who's like just treats their staff like shit. You know, these people are w w busting their ass for you, right? Trying to make you and your company successful, and then they're just total dicks to them. You know, those are the people that I just I think are total assholes. And I, I don't mean just business owners, but like management, uh, like manage, like managerial type middle management and stuff. There's some people that are just total assholes. Fortunately, I work for I work for people that are just really, really good. Yeah, the, you know, everyone's got their quirks, and that's fine. But I, the the people I work for are just really great, genuinely nice people. You know. And there's a difference from there's a difference from being like a generally nice person and being strict at work with your employees than someone who's just an asshole to their employees, you know? Just because they can be an asshole. And yeah, the you know, the employers I've had are, yeah, strict, absolutely strict, but they're running a you know, they're running their own business, right? And I just know that they absolutely should be strict, you know? Okay, let's finish this guy up. Beautiful. Enemy down. Two down, or, or those guys down, two to go. We don't get a bonus for killing these two? Huh. Whatever. Anyway, yeah. So the, the owners of the company that I work for just retired recently, and we were bought out by another company. I think I mentioned this before. And um, 
the new uh, manager from the from the new company, completely different person than my bosses, uh, my old bosses. But um, you know, just as strict. I I feel like I got a little bit more freedom now than I had before, but nothing at work has changed. You know what I mean? Still a respect for him. Uh, my former employer, uh, and nothing but respect for her. She was like just, you know, really great. You know. It's really tough to run your own business. You know, I I, I, I don't want to say I envy people that can do that, because I I mean I'm not the kind of person that I'm a, I'm a very much a worker. I'm not a, I'm not a business owner. Um, but I, I I you know I got nothing but respect for people that can run their own business. It's a hard job. It's an absolute hard job. You know. But the one thing you should never do is treat your employees like 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 assholes or like an asshole that is being a dick to them because that's just you know as as a person that's been an employee employee all my life um, you know everybody that I work for um, I want their company to be just as successful as if I owned it myself and that's because you know that's where I'm making my money, right? Why would I want to the, the company I work for to to, to you know not be profitable, Reporting. right? I want to keep my job, right? Yes, Commander. So, you know, um, when you're a dick to your employees, I mean, if your if your employees are being, why well, can't we see this guy? That's pretty damn good ECM, man. Yeah, should we jump over? Let's do it. Engaging jump jets. Anyway, I, I'm sure you guys know what I mean. It's like, you know, your employees are there to, tr to try and... Uh, I think we got them. Enemy unit destroyed. You know, if you instill respect in your employees... Look at this. Perfect timing. If you instill respect in your employees, they'll respect you, respect the company. Make it profitable. Everybody profits. You know, it's a win-win. Yeah, the owners take away more money. Absolutely, because they're they're assuming all the risk. Mission successful. But without your employees, you're not going to have a successful company. You know what I mean? I mean, if you run it yourself, maybe. But anyway, forty percent increase in payment, fifty-five thousand. That should cover our damages. Yeah, she got XP. She got XP for doing nothing. Good on you, kid. All right. Centurion part. We definitely want at least one. Let's... Oh, Sarbomba. Really? Um. Because we have two Centurion parts already. Order 8. Rocket launchers. Tag. Arrow 4. That's going to get ridiculous, guys. That's going to be ridiculous. Uh, arrow 4 ammo. But the Arrow 4 got destroyed, so... Yeah, let's go this route. Most likely we're going to be trashing this Arbomba. Four missile points though at 35 tons though it's not really and the centurion you know we'll probably put it together we'll keep it because it's a 50 tonner but we'll have to see how what we get from it all right let's just confirm this all right we got the extra centurion part commando parts stiletto part urban mech part we can put so many urbies together large laser small laser tag 210 core which is nice we can sell this and this stealth system all right, that's kind of nice too. Arrow 4 ammo, beautiful. That's for later on. And LMG ammo, okay, not bad. All right. 29,000, so not too bad. Made a little bit of coin on that, but we've got a lot to sell. So let's quickly, I mean, we're not going to do another mission because that was a long one. Let's go into the uh, mech base here real quick. And I think we can assemble. Let's go to storage. Now... 
that's the Sarabombo. It's ready, this guy. That mech is ready to fight, well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Centurion. So that's a Centurion A. Low tech states and bandit. Where's the other Centurion that we just got? Um. Probably easier to do it this way, isn't it? That's the Clint. Oh, we only have one part? I thought we had... Did we not take Centurion parts before? Oh, shoot. I guess not. Well, we got both parts anyway, so we can't really assemble that. Now, light. Um, that's the stiletto. Now we do have, where is the one I was thinking of here? Was it this one? One with the three, this one's got three PPC. So if we go to ready this guy, yeah, we can use these other parts, right? This one's more expensive, but the R6 is a crappy version, I believe. Oh, we got more stuff. Pirate version of the urban mech. Uh, let's take the R6. 275,000. Gonna confirm this. We're gonna put this guy together, the bishop. All right, let's have a look. I'm not worried about the, we got, we have enough C bills to, to and stuff that we can sell. So I'm not worried about that right now. Okay, let's see this guy. Look at this thing. Sarbomba, arrow four. Look at that, there it is, folks. Um, and I don't think there's really anything we want with this mech. I think we're gonna just scrap it and take a, take the parts off it. Like, I mean, if we repair it, we're looking at what? 95,000 in four days. 35 tons. It's not giving us anything that's any kind of extra that we'll, what we, than what we've already got. So let's just do that. Let's just scrap it. Get the parts off it. We've got an aero system already. This is crazy. Okay, we're going to scrap this guy. 261,000 we'll make. Okay, now this guy... This is the one that said it had three PPCs. ER PPC and two light PPCs, and they're all here. The core is here. All right, what did we lose though? Upper recoil. Gunnery support sniper sensor. Gunnery support A. Why is it all of a sudden overheat? Or overweight, I mean? Maybe because of lack, okay, because of lack of heat sinks. Heat dissipating armor. Like, I mean, the efficiency's ass, right? Oh, we lo probably lost, you know what? I bet you it was like a prototype cooling, cooling system, right? Are you going back or not? Let's just go back out of here and come back in. It had a regular double heat sink kit, that's why. So it's treating the double heat sinks as overweight, that's why. Right, that makes sense. Now do we have a double heat sink kit? Yeah, we do. Repair that. Now do we want to go with this? That's the question. We could, I mean, I got a PPC capacitor. You know, we can pull the two light PPCs off. Maybe boost up the engine a bit. We can pull the jump jet. Uh, if we go here. I don't know if it'll work with Pharaoh though. What did the composite armor 
provide more outer st oh structure weight we want we want good internal structure though that's crazy uh the jaro hmm PPC computer Increase PPC accuracy, increase PPC damage. Wow. Increase the PPC heat generation. That's kind of shit, but let's go and have a look at uh, this guy. Can we drop this in too? No, we can't. Yeah. So this is more damage. Failure on activation deals fairly consecutive turns. So this is better because there's no chance of failure. Wow, that's crazy. Do we? I don't think we don't even have another PPC, do we? No. Um, it's still crazy, though, eh? 50 heat plus, what was it again? 15% heat generation? Yeah, so it's plus another 7.5. Right? So it's like 60 heat at the most for this thing which is covered by the double heatsink kit and these are 22 heat each max range 430 what's the range of this thing? 750 so if we pull off these guys and then we go to um, be nice to be able to throw a Klein XL engine in this thing What's the cost? 300,000 extra. That's a fair bit though. We don't really have that right now. Um, I think I'll hold off configuring this guy. But I mean, we could do like a Clan XL engine, right? And then we could jack the core up a little bit. You know, get a bit more movement off this thing. 610 is actually not bad. Now the Alpha Strike is still going to be 60 because it's the PPC computer, right? We don't have a lot of extra like targeting s systems and stuff for it. How much weight we got left? Almost we got over 5 tons. We can max out the armor. That still gives us a lot, right? 4.5 tons to work with. Sentinel sensors. Um, yeah, we're saving this for the uh, Kit Fox. But I mean, it could go in here. That's rely. This is relying solely on this PPC's ability to hit. To hit, right? And I mean, we could just. Like what else would we put in it, right? Two and a half tons. We could put it in like an ER medium, a heat sink, and a, I don't know, a jump jet. Like I mean, we could use the patchwork and get it out. I can take a little bit of back armor off it and have three tons left. How much are these things? Three tons? They're damaged though. Well, it would be more. It'd be 25% more, wouldn't it? Yeah. But it would be almost 30 heat. Well, 25 heat. Which is still way too much. Damage would be... 37 and a half. What's the damage on this thing? 50? 25% so we're looking at 62. Still not bad for 7 tons though. 
or we can just pull the PPC computer off this and rebuild this on another Mac. But which Mac? That's the question. Let's leave it for now. That was a, we are we were already over six hundred thousand C bills for that. But I, you know I think we can we can work this into the rotation somehow. I think I mean we could do that build into the kit fox. It's the same weight. Um, we could put a PPC on it. And it's an Omni already, so it's already lighter. It's got an XL engine or an XL gyro. I think, anyway. Yeah, we'll analyze that next episode, I think. Um, but I think I'm going to end the episode here. We are already, already at over a million now for uh, monthly costs. That's, that's starting to get up there. Um, but yeah, we're going to leave the episode there. I'm going to try and, you know, get as much um, SIBOs as I can with the stuff we have in storage, uh, keeping in mind that I think we want to get that Bishop uh, up and running. Um, well, do we, though? Let me think about it. I might sell it between episodes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, just to keep our cost down. Just stay with five mechs for now. And we re-outfit the kit fox. It's going to cost a lot less to do that because we don't need to drop a core in it. We don't have to put Pharaoh and Endo in it. We don't have to, you know what I mean? We don't have to, you know, we don't have to put a um, a Clan XL engine in it. It's already there, you know. So yeah, let me think about it. All right, so I'm going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.